Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. In just the last 24 hours, Russia has expanded the front of their war on Ukraine. They launched airstrikes on two cities, Lutsk and Ivano Frankovsk, that were far to the west of any strike so far. Today, a senior U.S. defense official said the Russian military has made additional advances around the capital city of Kyiv, bringing up more forces to support the soldiers that have moved about 10 miles from the city center. The Russian military continues to bombard Ukrainian civilians in besieged cities across the country. Today, the United Nations said at least 564 Ukrainian civilians have been killed, 982 injured, but added they believe the actual figures are considerably higher. And when you look at the footage, you've got to believe the same. Now, part of the reason that we have seen such remarkable unanimity throughout the West, throughout NATO and the EU and, and across the world, really, in response to the invasion is just how brazenly indefensible and unprovoked this entire military attack was. And that's despite all kinds of attempts at invented rationales for the invasion from the Russian government in the run up to it. In fact, the Biden administration very effectively debunked those claims in real time, sometimes getting out ahead of them. And it left Russian Pre President Vladimir Putin without anything close to a, a valid excuse why he was doing this. Well, today, the Russian desperation for some sort of justification for this rank act of aggression was on full display in a really shocking scene at the United Nations. The Russian ambassador to the UN made outrageous false accusations that Ukraine was developing biological weapons. Our Ministry of Defense, Russian Ministry of Defense, now has documents which confirms uh, that on the territory of Ukraine there was a network consisting of at least 30 biological laboratories. Our military became aware of the details of the Project UP4, which was being conducted in laboratories of Kiev, Kharkov, and Odessa. The goal is to study the possibility of spreading particularly dangerous inf infections using migratory birds. Okay, the goal was to study the spreading, right? Like a, a bioweapons lab of, of, of migratory birds. That's what he's claiming. The birds are going to spread biological weapons that they were studying. Now, there is, you won't be surprised here, there's absolutely no truth to that. There, that's a ridiculous lie. It might seem weird out of nowhere, but get this. It's actually been building in the most uh, kooky, conspiracy theory-friendly corners of the Internet for a little while now. In fact, back on March 2nd, Foreign Policy actually had their eyes on this. They wrote a great article, that's more than a week ago, when this first started bubbling up. Quote, pro-Russian channels and QAnon conspiracy theorists think Moscow is launching airstrikes on Ukraine to destroy bioweapon manufacturing labs in order to prevent the American infectious disease expert Anthony Fauci from creating a sequel to the COVID-19 virus. This theory hangs on the entirely discredited idea that coronavirus was designed as a bioweapon, perhaps by the U.S. government itself. Again, not one part of that is true or even close to true, but without any other plausible reason for their invasion, Russian state media and social media accounts have been amplifying this crazy QAnon conspiracy theory over the last couple of weeks. And in the last few days, that messaging has also been picked up by, you guessed it, Tucker Carlson and Fox News. On Wednesday, Tucker played a clip of the Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, Victoria Newland, testifying before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and then took it way out of context. Does Ukraine have chemical or biological weapons? Uh, Ukraine has uh, biological research facilities, which, in fact, we are now quite concerned Russian troops, Russian forces may be seeking to uh, gain control of. So we are working with the Ukrainians on how they can prevent any of those research materials from falling into the hands of uh, Russian forces should they approach. Oh. Does Ukraine have biological weapons? Uh, Ukraine has biological research facilities. What? You mean... Secret biolabs? Like the secret biolabs Ukraine definitely doesn't have? Ukraine has those? Yes, it does. Oh, wait, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Am I seeing this? Real woe if true moment. Except, of course, it's not true. No matter how many rhetorical questions you ask yourself in an answer, that's not what's going on. It is exactly what Fox News national security correspondent Jen Jennifer Griffin explained an hour later to Sean Hannity. 
Jennifer, but we do know Victoria Newland admitted that, that labs existed. What exactly they're for, we never got clarity on, correct? Well, we do have clarity. I have a, a fact sheet. That's what I was just reading from, from here at the Pentagon. And it is a long program that has existed where the Pentagon has partnered with these, uh, these bio labs. That is part of this effort to try and clean up those Soviet era labs and make sure that nothing uh, escapes from those labs. And so the U.S. has been very open about its involvement there with that. Jennifer Griffin deserves a lot of credit throughout this conflict for providing accurate information in an environment that frequently discourages that kind of thing. She didn't even ask herself a single rhetorical question. And as she explained in that interview, Under Secretary Victoria Newland was talking about facilities that are actively trying to counter biological threats and doing research. The fear was that Russia would weaponize the things that they were studying. Okay, so that's what the situation is. That happened two nights ago on Fox. Guess what happened today? The Russian ambassador to the United Nations took that absolutely wild QAnon conspiracy theory that Tucker Carlson was pushing and introduced it to the U.N. The Victoria Newland, assistant uh, secretary of state, basically confirmed uh, the uh, fact uh, that there were dangerous um, um, uh, studies being conducted in, conducted in Ukrainian lab laboratories in Congress in 8th of March. There was a direct question put by Senator Marco Rubio, and she replied and said that in Ukraine there are research structures which should not end up in the hands of the Russian armed forces, end of quote. You see what happened here, right? I mean, first of all, just to take a step back, I want to be clear about this. There's no one accusing these of being bioweapons labs anywhere except for, like, a few conspiracy theorists, some Russian propagandists, and some useful idiots starting, like, a week ago. It's just invented out of whole cloth. There's no evidence that they are. There's nothing. It's built on nothing, okay? And now the Russian ambassador to the U.N. is basically parroting the propaganda that Fox News is running with, which they took the baton from, from whatever corner of QAnon Internet, to justify their invasion of Ukraine. Well, we got to go in there, the biolabs, the biolabs. I mean, look, it's transparent, it's brazen. Also, just, again, provide a little Occam's razor here. Uh, if Russia actually believed this, why didn't they talk about it in their buildup to their invasion? Vladimir Putin gave a whole speech, I will remind you. He's talked a lot about why he was launching the special operation, also known as the war into Ukraine, the invasion. Talked about a lot of stuff. Talked about the Russian Empire. Talked about NATO. Talked about Nazis. No mention of biological weapons. They're desperately scrounging around to find some justification and just, like, throw stuff against the wall and watch which idiots lick it up. That ludicrous effort today at the United Nations fell entirely flat. Here's what the, and again, if, if you don't trust the Pentagon, okay? You know, I don't want to hear the Pentagon one sheet. Here's what just one ambassador random, the Albania ambassador, the UN, who's sitting there watching this, the very next speaker after Russia had to say. Russia's allegations are, in our opinion, part of the information warfare, false, unsubstantiated, part of the usual propaganda and the disinformation coming from Russia, Conspiracy theories not worth our time. However regrettable all this is, it is hardly surprising since everything, absolutely everything we have been hearing from Russia regarding Ukraine has been false, fabricated or distorted. We should therefore be very worried that in spreading such disinformation, a crescendo of allegations about weapons of mass destruction could serve as yet another pretext for Russia to prepare the ground and use chemical or biological weapons during its ongoing invasion of Ukraine while accusing others. The point the ambassador makes there is that by accusing Ukraine of a possible biological or chemical attack, Russia's laying the groundwork to use those weapons themselves. It's also a point the U.S. ambassador to the U.N., Linda Thomas-Greenfield, made as well. Last month, Secretary Blinken laid out with tragic accuracy what Russia was about to do. He specifically warned that Russia would manufacture a pretext for attack and even cautioned that Russia would fabricate allegations about chemical or biological weapons to justify its own violent attacks against the Ukrainian people. Today, the world is watching Russia do exactly what we warned it would. In fact, it is Russia that has long maintained a biological weapon program in violation of international law. It is Russia 
that has well do a well-documented history of using chemical weapons. We have serious concerns that Russia may be planning to use chemical or biological agents against the Ukrainian people. The intent, be intent behind these lies seem clear, and it is deeply troubling. Throughout this crisis, American intelligence has developed a track record of accurately calling out Russia's next move, unlike, again, some of the useful idiots lapping up their propaganda. Now they're sounding the alarms about Russia using some kind of biological or chemical weapon, given the recent history of the Russian government accusing people of things they're about to do themselves. There's some real worry, reason to be worried. 